Hello, Solo users. My name is Sebastian Alvarez Ring. I'm the PSG sales engineer for the Channels Group. And today I'm going to do a quick overview of how to stream and best practices while streaming while using our Solo unit here. So, quick how to do it turn it on, plug in your, uh, your whatever video camera you want, HDMI or H, uh, SDI. Uh, allow the modems time to connect and once you see the uh, ready on the bottom of the screen you're good to go. Uh, configure the unit through the solo portal, we've done a video on that. Um, but once it's configured you can just hit the play button on the unit and it's going to start streaming. It will give you a blue bar on the bottom telling you uh, the stream, how much data it's streaming. Just go to your website, confirm that it's there and that's all that there is to it. So uh, best practices Whatever location you're going to, you want to make sure you have good signal. So a good tool I use is I go to opensignal.com and I go to, uh, to the local area that I want to go. Um, you can pick your carrier uh, or select them all here. And it's just going to give you an overview of how each carrier is doing and what's the best modems to bring to this location. So like right now we pretty much see Pretty good coverage of every uh, carrier, but you know, at t is a little less in this area versus, say, uh, let's say Verizon. Yeah, so it just gives you a good overview of what we're gonna, you know, what you could re rely on for uh, modems. Uh, of course, do a test when you get to your location just to see exactly how much bandwidth you have, and you can also go into the modems in the menu by clicking on the interfaces and seeing how much bandwidth each modem is actually carrying. Um, once the test is complete and you're confident in your modems, um, just general practices, try to keep the, mo the unit elevated as much as possible because it is cell antennas and you want to keep them off the ground for best service. Um, if you're in a crowd of people, the human body is a great absorber of RF energy, so if you have it low and you're right next to people, these antennas can't get the signal out. You're going to lose your bandwidth. Um, if a modem's not connecting, you could always check your SIM. And on this Verizon, it's pretty easy. Just uh, give it a quick reseat. And also, you could also reseat the modem by just taking it out as I did and plugging it back in. The unit will automatically recognize and try to use the modem when it, when it becomes available. Um, if you have the time, give the unit a quick restart just to be better. But um, if, you're, if you're streaming live and... Uh, kind of press for time you can just do what i did um just for uh good practices with cdn start stop the stream from the unit first uh, because if you stop it from the cdn it could hang on the uh on the portal and just have to reset it then but just so it doesn't hang at all stop the unit and then stop the stream on your website um, if you're streaming for a long period of time, so we do have an uh, external battery that you could use to extend the lifetime of this by two hours. The uh, internal battery is streams for two hours by itself, so you could add another two hours for a total of four hours. Um, it is a 12 volt uh, external battery that it needs. Um, for any support issues, go to the portal, click on the support tab. Um, from there, you can see the full manual on how to use the unit. Uh, also, if you have any issues with the unit, submit a case by clicking the submit a case button and we'll get back to you via email within 24 hours. Uh, thank you for watching this quick overview of best practices while streaming with Solo. And thank you and thanks for watching. Video Guys is available Monday to Friday. Give us a call 1-800-323-2325. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter to stay connected with all our updates. And you can like us on Facebook. Keep an eye out for our live videos. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.